After a hard end to a good season, a manager shares some final reflections with his team. A check-in call from a representative. Every team enters game one of a new season with high hopes. A manager offers words to mark the occasion of a new beginning. Tonight, we've got baseball from the banks of the Allegheny, PNC Park in Pittsburgh. Time for game two of the regular season between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Pittsburgh Pirates. It's Pirates baseball on the show. Next, off the plate, one ball, one strike. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. And Dan, that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. One half, nobody on. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Hosmer is there for it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Into the box now, George Springer. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. George Springer. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. He's not messing around this inning. He's attacking the zone. He's showing lots of confidence. He's 0-2 on this hitter after having two quick outs. Nice job. Therefore, it is pro far, and Jurickson has it to retire the... Leading off for St. Louis. Sends that one out of play for Justin strike one. Richardson. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Fouled back. Well, I think he's trying to get that two strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. The 0 2 once more. Another one sent foul. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Betts ranging back to the track. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Digging in, Henry Acosta. First baseman. Good swing. Henry Just got to try Acosta. and straighten that one out. The windup and the 0 1. 
Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove, and he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Batting six. After it. Hit the White. other way out toward Santiago. right field. Betts has a read on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Digging in now, Boomer, big dog. Pitcher, Boomer. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. And, Harold, we take a look at the Cardinals entering play here tonight. They started the season out on the wrong foot, dropping one on the road on opening day. Well, here you are, game two. You try to get into somewhat of a, of a routine. You know, game one, you got so many people opening day throwing out first pitch ceremony for and the throw is in time to get him to retire the side one two three go the Pirates Colton Wong will stand in he'll stand in Leading to open things up here in the third Second baseman. and that swung Colton on and fouled Wong. straight back Aye. strike two on two Hard hit ball to second. Hanson is right there. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So one gone here in the St. Louis third. And stepping third in, the right handed bat of third Brett. baseman, Brett Lowry. 0 oh, 1, here it comes. Grounded down the third baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Lifted down the line in right and back out of play. Count holds it 0-2. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. Hey, we got one. He three. takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Batting ninth. Petra. Jesse Hahn Jesse is in with two Hunt. away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Boy, he set her cut that fast. Oh, it comes in in the high 90s, but that's a dangerous location, no matter how hard you're throwing. Hey, Matt, you're the pitcher. There's two outs. Nobody. Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. First delivery Leading to him the on the way. Right Skied fielder. in the air to straightaway left. Profar is under this one. One pitch, one away. Digging in to try it again. Alidmus Diaz. He's Go 0 for 1 thus far. And he gets Diaz. ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 and 2 now. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And now for the second batter in a row. This is in the air out to left field. There to play it is Profar, and there are two away. Here's George Springer. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Profar going back on it. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Boomer, big dog, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Way in front of that fastball. Oh, that's amazing. I, I've, I've never seen anything like this. You realize how many strikes he's throwing? The first pitch to every hitter in the game, every hitter has been for a strike. That's 100% on the first pitch has been a strike, and they've taken advantage of it. Into the windup and the pitch. Dustin Richardson is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Squared that one up just a little late. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Ready for another chance. Henry Acosta. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. And they go away here. It's a called strike. Nothing in two. Sort of surprising to see a five-hole hitter take two in a row for strikes to start in at bat. Now he's way behind the count, so we'll see if he can battle back. 
Castro gets him. Two down. Striding in once again. Dwight Santiago. This is hit high in the air out Santiago. toward left center. Profar is in pursuit. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Leading off for St. Louis. Second and baseman. this ball's going to find Wilson. the seats down one. the left field line. Foul strike one. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Lifted down the line in right and back out of play. Count holds it 0 and 2. A little bouncer, but it gets foul. That's four foul balls in a row. He's battling, no doubt. And he takes strike three cold on the fastball. One gone. Here's the third baseman, Brett Lowry. 0 for 1 him? for him here in this third one. Baseman. Takes Brett a good swing, but this will be Lowry. a foul ball. Cardinals have been held out of the hit column here. And this is fouled back and out of play. And this is going to be a foul ball. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he struck him out as well, so the bottom of the order providing little Your resistance here, and there are two away. Rolando Vaughn will Number grab 30. a bat and hit for the pitcher Rolando here. Vaughn. And this is going to be a foul ball. Sent on the ground out to second. Hanson fields it cleanly. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Digging in once again. Boomer, big dog. Enter. And a chance Boomer, now to increase his lead if he can deliver something here with two guns. Liner toward right center. And that's going to get down out there. And the runner from second is in to score. Matt, I think he lost his focus. He's got the pitcher up at the plate. He's got two outs. He managed the inning the way he wanted to get there so he could get out of it. And he gives up a base hit here. You can't give up the hit to the pitcher. And that misses as well. Ball four. So it's a four-pitch walk here. And that's a pitcher. That's always tough. Looked like he got a bad break on some of those calls. But he's got to learn that sometimes the calls don't go your way. And you've just got to move on. That's something that young pitchers can have a hard time with, though. Late on the fastball there as this one skied out toward right. Mosley moves over. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Some activity out in the bullpen now as a couple of left-handers begin to stir. This is right hit the other way out toward Patrick left field. Profar is in his tracks now, and very quickly one gone. And that'll bring up Oledmus Diaz. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Grounded softly to the right. Hanson in the hole. And he's safe at first as he beats this one out by about a half a step from the stretch. Here's the pitch. George Springer comes on with one gun here as he looks at a called strike one. Fastball called for strike two. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at-bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. How about it? And this is going to be a foul Justin ball. One thing you try to do as a hitter is figure out what pattern the pitcher is pitching. I can't cover the whole plate. He's done a masterful job of pounding them on the outside half for strikes, and they haven't figured it out yet. So they do get their first hit, but they're... Ready for another shot now. Henry Acosta. We're in the eighth the now, and nothing's Chase changed Franklin. out there on the Henry mound. Well, Acosta. I've been very impressed with how the starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect. But getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Hit down the third baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Well, he got what he's looking for. He just got out in front of it right there. Grounder down the line at third. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Hit out towards second. To his right, Hanson. In time to first, and there are two away. 
Colton Wong will stand in. Second He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Colton and he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Cold strike 0 and 2. Fly ball into straightaway left. Profar is under it. And the inning is over. Ready once again. Boomer, big dog. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. And into center field as he's aboard with a one-out single. So the lineup card turns over with one away following the base hit out of the pitcher's spot. He is having a terrific game, pitching well enough to get back to the plate again, and this time he delivers with a base hit. Now at the plate, Billy Fay. Center fielder number 25. Billy. Here it Faye. comes on 3 and 0. Oh, and he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Now at the plate, now Mookie Betts. Right he comes fielder. into this appearance in the Mookie. midst of a one for four day. Skied into straightaway right. Mosley has a read on it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. The first baseman, Eric Hosmer, is in. He's got three hits, including a double to this point. He's set. Here's the three and two. Now here's a ball heading for the right field corner. This has the distance, and it stays fair. Home run. Here's the third baseman, Brett Lowry. He'll be charged with trying to get on board, leading off the ninth. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. This is in the air out to straightaway center. On the move. And that's the first out of the inning. Your Jet Bandy will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the yeah. inning. Bandy. Pulls the string on that one, one strike. Action now in that pirate bullpen as a left-hander starts to heat up down there. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Boy, that was filthy right there. That was a great indicator of how well he's throwing the ball. He's doing nice in the game, but that pitch was filthy. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Jet Bandy goes down for out right number fielder. two in the top Patrick of the ninth. Mosley. It's a swinging bunt up the line. Arenado going to have to hurry. Throw to first will be in time for the final out, and the Pirates have taken games one and two here at home as this one is over. A stellar performance earns a salute from this hurler's pitching coach. Both hope the command displayed tonight will carry over into future outings. MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball brings us to the great state of Florida and Marlins Park in Miami. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series. And that'll bring up Jeffrey Perez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Harold, we look at this Pirates ball club as they enter play here tonight. They come off another loss last time out, and in fact, they've dropped three of their...
Both teams on a losing streak. One thing we know for sure, somebody's going to walk out of here in this first game of the series with a win, and they get on a winning streak. So this is a big battle Adding to second. turn things around Left for you right now. There. You want to be Move that team on the winning down. side. The wind-up and the 0-1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Profar is there. Two gone. <laughs> Now at the plate, Giancarlo Stanton. No one aboard for him, and right two gone here in the first. John Down the third Carlo baseline. Stanton. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Leading off for the Marlins. Pitch the swung on stop. and hit in the air. Faye giving chase. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, Brandon Belt. Batting He's best. hit the ground running First right baseman. out of spring training. Entering Brandon. this one with a batting average oh. over 300. Hey. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove. And he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. First pitch coming here it is. Corey Spangenberg is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Popped high in the air. Big dog has got it and the side is retired. Coming to the plate now, Batting Boomer, tight. Big Dog. Right. Boomer, Big Dog. All right, let's go. Come on, this is you, this is you. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Drilled on the ground to short. Correa scoops it up, and he's retired here one away. Stepping up now, Jason Haynes. Hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. Jason Right down Broadway that time. Strike one. Oh, and that is right down the middle for strike two. Talk about challenging a guy. He offered up two in a row right down the chute, and the batter didn't even flinch. Got to wonder what he was looking for. And another foul ball. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. Stepping in, Garrett. Barron and he has not gotten Patrick. off to the start he had Garrett. hoped for with the Barron. bat. It's been a real struggle for him out of the Eva. gate. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Look, Matt, this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key. He's got a runner on first base. This is where you can get that ground ball double play. Make him chase that hard sinker and hit him to the dirt and turn one over for him. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. Digging in for his second at bat, Jeffrey hey. Perez. 0 for 1 here in the Jeffrey early going. Perez. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Hey. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Working for the punch out and the offering. Grounded to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Marlins leave one. We'll head to the fourth. Striding in once again, Lou Leading Cortez in comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. 0 1 count, here's the pitch. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Smoked on the ground, left side. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. So the fourth inning opens with a leadoff single. 96 miles an hour. That's bringing it. Challenged right him and he got the base hit the opposite way. I got to give him credit Giancarlo for barreling up. Now, I don't know for sure if he was on time or if he was late, but either way, he got the barrel on it and got the hit. Matt, he's thrown two pitches right down the middle and got away with them. I don't think he should go back there again, but he's got to locate a little bit better if he wants to put him away. This guy's too good a hit. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Giancarlo Stanton is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. And that is off the wall in right field. Throw won't get him. 
Every hitting coach in the league will tell you it only takes one swing of the bat to get out of a slump, and maybe that's what we're seeing right here. He's been struggling, no doubt about it, but he's able to lace this thing off the wall, and he's standing at second with some newfound confidence. And he just misses with a curveball. A swinging bunt to the mound. A play at the plate. And they will get... No, he's in there. A very close play at first. The batter number this 15, is hit the other way out toward left man, field. Corey Catch is made. Runner tagging from third. And the tying run is in to score from third. It's one to one. At the plate, Jason Haynes. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Ready with the 0-2. And a big strike out there. They'll leave a couple of runners on base. And after a good... Digging in to try it again. Boomer, big dog. He'll start things out as we begin the fifth. Oh, tried to check his swing there as this is hit to the left side. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Garrett Barron, he's 0 for 1 thus far. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Oh, and they pulled the a string on a good change up there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. The pitcher, number 33. Daniel Langdon will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing and one. And Dan, that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. But no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. With two outs, they're not playing him to bunt here, and he didn't show it there, but I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't at least thinking about it. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the end. Digging in and looking for more. Lou Cortez, a hit in two tries so far. Lou Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. In the air out to straightaway left. Under it is Profar here to put it away for the first out. Giancarlo Stanton now. Third trip to the, the right plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this Giancarlo point. Stanton. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Way in front of that fastball. I got to say, his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional. He's mixed east and west really well, and it's a big reason why he's had success. Got him to go down swinging now, there. Giancarlo Stanton goes down for the second out here in the bottom half. Betts has a read on it. And that's the third out. Your Bruce Maxwell like, will come on to pinch hit here. Well, maybe a little bit of a problem is they had to wind up going to that bullpen quite a bit. Five pitchers are going to combine to finish this. Sunday afternoon baseball on the show as we welcome you inside Fenway Park in Boston. Today it's the third and final game in this three-game interleague series between the Pittsburgh Pirates 
And that'll bring up the shortstop, Tim Anderson. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And Harold, as we take a look at the Pirates as they take the field here this afternoon, they'll look to make it three straight here as they come in on the heels of two straight wins. Yeah, Matt, they're showing us they can play in those close games. I mean, both games in this series, they've won by one run. Love that. I look at that and I say that's the quality of a team that knows how to win the tight one. Throw on to first in time, one away. Into the windup and the pitch. Right now a swing and a ball popped John high in the air over Hyatt. toward foul ground. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to make the play for out number two. Coming to the plate now, Matt Olson. He enters play Matt sixth Curry. in the American League Curry's in the batting Curry. race. Uh, Watches a fastball Olson. right there for strike one. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. And another foul ball. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Another one sent foul. Matt, he's thrown two pitches right down the middle and got away with them. I don't think he should go back there again, but he's got to locate a little bit better if he wants to put him away. This guy's too good a hitter. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Digging in, Alfonso Fernandez. He'll get us going here in the bottom half of the second. And that's in there for strike one. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Hit hard on the ground at first. Hosmer has it, and he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Brett Eibner will be the next to dig in at the plate. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Yeah, nothing better, huh, guys? I guess maybe the crack of the bat, but I'm not as partial to that as most people. He looks good and loose out there to start this one. And a good two-strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches, but the count will remain at 0-2. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. In now, Javier Baez. And he has not gotten off to the start he had hoped for with the bat. It's been a real struggle for him out of the gate. Now that's when you know it's a good pitch. He broke off a really nice breaking ball down in the zone right there. And even though this is one of the best hitters around, he waved right through it. Again, he sends it out of play. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into oh. left field. Oh. Profar racing back. And it's off the green monster. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Every hitting coach in the league will tell you it only takes one swing of the bat to get out of a slump. Maybe that's what we're seeing right here. He's been struggling, no doubt about it. But he's able to lace this thing off the wall, and he's standing at second with some newfound confidence. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. So much baseball history here at Fenway Park in and around the stadium as we continue our coverage of May. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Lee Schmidt is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. And this is going to be a foul ball. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here's another 0 2. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Betts over to his left. Makes the play one away. So digging in now, Leroy Winnicka takes a look at one catching the outside corner. A one pitch on its way. Swing at a high pop up straight back, though it looks as though he'll have room back there. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Ready for another chance. Tim Anderson. Hope for one for him here in this one. High in the air out to center field. Faye moves over, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Digging in to try it again. John Hyatt. He looked to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. And he'll step on first himself for the out. 
Now at the plate, Matt Olson. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hard ground ball to third. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Well, that was a nice swing and that opposite field base hit. Hey, he's using the whole field. He's off to a great start. If he stays like this, this could be a monster year for him. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Here's the 0 and 2. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. To second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that. Striding in once again. Brett Eibner. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Grounded to short. On to first. And it's dropped. Well, when you lead off an inning, you become the leadoff guy. Get on any way you can. And right there, that little infield now single, as innocent as it might look, Bateman, might start a rally for them. The Do anything you can to get on. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Back-to-back -back hits, and now the inning is set up. They're trying to put the first run on the board, so you can bunt, move them up. Now you're second and third. You may draw the infield in. Or if they sit back, get the easy ground ball, and you pick up the first run of the game. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Profar is going to get back, and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first out. Digging in for his second at bat, Lee Schmidt. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Oh, it's hit to third. Five, four, three. It's a double play, and the inning is over. So stepping in, Leroy Winnicka. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today and it's really working. Well, this lineup obviously doesn't get to see this guy very often because he's over in the other league and it's really showing. He's pitching really well right now and I'm sure these hitters are plenty happy they don't have to face him multiple times this year. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. That's the seventh game he's hit in. Look out. Seven games. That's right, one week of feeling pretty good. Let's John see how long he can make Hyatt. this last. John Hyatt stands in as he looks at a cold strike. In there, and he's in control 0-2 oh, now. Now he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. And that's going to land foul down the third baseline. And there's his first base hit in this one. Long throw to third. And he is in there. This guy's such a good hitter. I get the feeling, even when he's down 0-2 in the count like he was here, he's still actually ahead of the count when he's facing anybody. Matt Olson is in for the third time now as he takes a cold strike. It's 0-1. And he takes strike two. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. Too high. One and two. This is a big spot right here. Two runners on. And you knew he was going to waste a pitch right there, 0-2. But right now, you can still make him chase out of the zone, and you got a chance to get out of this jam. And he strikes out. And, oh, boy, all he needed was a fly ball somewhere to give him the lead. But instead, there are two gone now. Alfonso Fernandez stands in as he can't connect here, 0-1. And some action now in the Pirates' bullpen. They've got a lefty and a right-hander up the throw. Faye is there, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Boston strands a couple. Still. Brett Eibner will be the next to dig in at the plate. He's one for two in the ballgame. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. And that's swung on and fouled straight back into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Chopped foul at the plate, and we'll do it again. Another 0-2 home. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. 
Stepping in, Javier Baez. Now he doubled earlier and carries a two-for-two two line into Javier. this appearance. Javier. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now to the plate, Joey Rickard. No hits Up and two trips Lorenzo. to the plate for him in the Center ball fielder. game. Chopped Joey. foul over towards Rickard. the dugout. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game. Ready once again, Lee Schmidt. He'll get things started now in the bottom of inning number eight. There's a high Schmidt. foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. Lifted down the line and right and back out of play. Count holds it 0-2. Another 0-2 coming. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. The 0-2 once more. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. And he looks at a ball, one and two. Tried to get him to chase that 0-2 curveball there, but he wasn't fighting. Very well could see it again here, though. Hanson ranging up the middle. No problem here, one away. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball here, 0-1. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. A breaking ball, swung on and missed, and he's set down for the second time this afternoon. The batter number seven, Short Tim Doug. Anderson, is Tim in with two away Anderson. now as he looks at a called strike one. Matt, I tell you what, I love how he's pitching right now. He has continued to pound that first pitch for strikes. When you do that, you set yourself up for great success. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here comes another 0 2. Now a swing and another ball that I believe will find its way into the seats. Still 0 2. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Digging in now, John Hyatt. He's going to lead things Leading off in their the half of the ninth shot. as they try to avoid the dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out, and over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. Now batting. First base Back up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one out single. That line drive base hit. Now it brings the tie and run to the plate. You know, Matt, they always talk about a bloop and a blast. Maybe please. it is a rope and some board. hope. A 2 0 finish today. Boomer Big Dog wins his third of the season. Jim. Page is settled with a loss after giving up only one earn. So that'll just about do it. A coach acknowledges a pitcher on his recent spree of strikeouts. He's on a torrid pace. They'll see if he can keep it up.